Mickey made it. Mickey made what you made, Mickey. Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency, and my word is law. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good vibes, good energy, good people. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. And also, if you want to support my brand, it's inspired by dreams. Shop. Okay, today's episode is very important to the content creators, the smaller channels, and just the people, the society of us that's outside of hip hop but do listen to hip hop because some of their stuff is demonic and just some of the things they do is not in our morals or our practice to do. Today's episode is inspired by Joe Button. What? So I was watching the Joe Button show and there was, you know, I heard that Melissa Ford, one of my favorites, of course, she was um just explaining she's, you know, coming up with her new, it's like a new podcast and it's just a new flavor, her um just touching certain topics on her own. But then it's something Joe Button said that it just, it reminded me the strength and the mindset that I have. It offends a lot of people. And I've been seeing this lately and a lot of content creators might know what I'm talking about. And in hip hop, what do they call it? They call it biting or, but in the real world, we call it stealing. And he says some things about, you know, why do I even have to worry about it? All I have to do is steal it from a smaller content creator. Some of these smaller content creators be cooking. And even Melissa Ford, she kind of felt some way about it. She said, no, not like that, because it is kind of offensive. But I want you to know, it's not about the views. It's all about the person. See, in hip hop, they're used to stealing from each other and remixing this and sounding like this so that mentality travels on to everything that they do and I'm not saying that Joe Buns is not a good podcaster or his ideas are just stolen from different people you know that he sees and he implements it himself but what I'm saying is that type of mentality goes to show you have to be very mind your mindset has to be very open to who you're receiving this information from and just because you're receiving it from a person with a million views or more doesn't necessarily mean that that person is abiding by the things they're saying sometimes they can just be saying it from the actual person that they actually watch that opens their mind and give you guys their version of it or their take of it now it's nothing illegal on YouTube in doing that but you can just see what types of people some people you know they they shout out the content creator's name to let them know that, you know, I see what you're doing and that was right what you said. Let me put it on my platform. It's a little bigger and it can also help you out too. And some people just steal it because they want people to think of them as somebody there, like they know it all. But the reason why I brought this to you, and it's not to any riff with anybody because I don't know some of these people. What I'm trying to say to you is when you see smaller content creators, if it's in your heart and you're a good person, you'll never have that mindset. I know a lot of people, even when I was coming up as a content creator, this is not my first channel, but when I was coming up, I always big up the people that, you know, maybe if I hear information that I thought, oh wait, that opened my mind to do this. I was never worried about that because I'm not a rapper. And people have to understand that a hip hop, it does, it comes from a lot of remixing, you know, other things of the past. And as we can see now, you guys could tell me yourself, a lot of MCs and artists, they sound the same. And these are the reasons why the game is crumbling because people don't have that authentic creativity, that authentic spirit in themselves to say, you know what, these are actual thoughts from my mind, or you know what, I got this from this person and maybe I can help you guys out with this. Check him out. And I just wanted to bring that to you. Here's a little clip of it, and you guys let me know your take on it. About the bitches I took this thing from. <laughs> <laughs> I took it, bitch. <laughs> My voice is louder. I can steal from smaller creators. <laughs> and pass oh, that's fucked up. Uh, don't let them laugh at you. Don't let. Don't feel no way about it. Trust me when I tell you. Listen to your boy. You are. You can live your happiest life in your mindset, and you keep growing. Don't let these people say, "Oh, because they have more views, I'm gonna take this, take that." Their life is created through you. Your next move is what they have to dissect. They can't do it on them by themselves. And it's no disrespect to any content creators unless they want the disrespect. But at the end of the day, watch what you're doing out there and 
be mindful of the people who you support. All I'm saying. Till next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe.